I really don't want to do this because I know it's going to fail but we're going to have to do it aren't we we're going to have to see if we can put this back in there and see how long it lasts try and do this without hitting the camera uh, some screws back in just so all the bits didn't fall out while we weren't using it. Because one thing I haven't checked is the actual dimensions. Well, we'll soon find out. got it off center it's going to be struggling I think you can probably see as I turn it I didn't get it lined up very well in the molding sorry to be so negative all the way through this it's just that I know in my heart this is going to fail Position. Oh, motor's popped out. Get that back in position. Something didn't line up there on the way through. off again. Oh, it didn't line up. Oh, that, that dropped out. Back on again. Right way around. It's only held in place with grease. I have to turn it up the other way because that keeps falling out of alignment, that gear there. I need to put it in the other way up. Right. problem is I've got it way out of alignment. The 
Yeah, going to have to do a bit of filing, I think. I don't think that's going to go on. Right, I haven't screwed it all back together yet. I've had to do quite a bit of filing on that uh, moulded piece, the resin piece. It's a bit stiff. I, I'll be very surprised if we actually get it to work. Let's see if I can turn the axle. It turned. See, it's turning. Sounds to me like a gear is. Missing somewhere. Sounds like something's not quite lined up right. Let's go for broke. This one's trying, I can feel it. So, at that point it's working. I've got to get it apart again and get that in there. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm going to say this, it's not going to last. That resin, when I was filing it to make it fit, it was very soft. So, I think as soon as we hit a bump in the road or anything a little bit... anything, in fact probably just running on the road will be enough to break it. Just for reference, before we see it break, this little black piece here is the steering linkage from one of my other radio control cars and I was looking at it and it's very close to the shape that we actually wanted but not quite, so that was another possibility something like that. It should have had an extra arm coming out, just like these pieces. Right. So. Steering's back there. But we're not turning. Yeah, some, something's not quite right in there. Now it's all tightened up, it doesn't want to turn. Well, slightly better than I expected. It wasn't tightening it up that was causing a problem, it had actually... the shaft, or the, the plastic bearing on the shaft had slipped along a bit and it wasn't lined up with the slots that it was supposed to be in. If that makes any sense. movement. No, I'm missing a screw. That's not unusual. Oh, there it is. Right, we're back together. We 
seem to be moving, so we'll try it on the floor, see how long it lasts. Okay, off we go. Gently does it. I think we have a problem if we go full right lock. Yeah, that wheel's jamming. So not a perfect repair, but it's already lasted longer than I expected it to. I haven't recharged that battery because I wasn't expecting it to work. So I might have to do that. But we have got four wheel drive. So at least that far we can call it success. at the moment. I think what will either happen is my little replacement part there will break or because it's not perfectly aligned the extra stress will burn out the motor at the front. But I think that battery's pract practically flat now anyway so I need to recharge that. Now, just for reference there I don't think the camera will pick up the voltage but it was very low, it was dangerously low. I know I shouldn't be charging the battery in the car, but I'm just demonstrating how low that voltage was. Down below 7 volts. Right, we're fully charged now. So I've got the hack camera on and we'll see if we can get out the kitchen door. I've put some bricks out there to make life a little bit easier for it. Uh, well, we'll see. See how long it lasts before it breaks. Yeah, we've lost quite a bit of the steering because as soon as I turn it too far to the left or the right, it jams because it's it's out of alignment. Yeah. So as long as I don't turn it too tight, we're okay. balance leads come loose. I only tuck it up there and stick it in place just to stop the wires. That's just blue tack in there holding everything in place. So let's see if we can go down there. Okay we went out okay. I've lost a lot of turning circle there. It doesn't want to turn tight at all. OK. 
broken it. Got no front at all at the moment. It's jammed. I think we've killed it already. So it lasted for what ten seconds? Well, that's still turning. I think it's more likely we burnt the motor out because it's stiffer than it was. Yeah. If you remember the options, what I said would go wrong, I said either it would snap or break, or we'd kill the motor. And I think we probably killed the motor. Definitely got no motor there at the moment. All right, well, we've got a sort of success, if I'm positive about it, because if I turn that wheel, the other one's still turning. So it hasn't actually broken, but it's binding, and I think the extra stress of it binding has killed the front motor. So we'll have to fix that next. Is it worth the effort? That's the question. Just sniffing it. See if I can smell the motor. It does smell like it was hot. So, it looks like there might be another episode coming up where we see if we can fix the front motor. What fun! The fact that is still turning surprises me. That resin, moulded resin fix is sticking together at the moment. But we killed the motor. Hey, thanks for watching. There's plenty of videos on my main channel with more added daily, so don't forget to subscribe and enable the notifications to keep you up to date with my new releases. You can help keep my channel running by donating a dollar on Patreon to buy me coffee. You can always find more information in the video description. Thanks again for watching.